Hey, welcome to X3, One Topic, Three Pundits. I'm your host, John C. Dvorak. I'm here with Andrew Eisner and Joe Engo, and we're about to discuss the kind of the quasi-controversy over the Nortel patent uh, distribution. Uh, they've got, essentially gone out of their way, or somebody went out of their way, or I guess the bidders went out of their way to gang up on Google. Exactly. And so they formed a consortium, which, by the way, when you do auctions and these sorts of things, you're not supposed to do this. You do, like if... If, if you go to an auction, yeah. uh, technically, and uh, they're selling like a, an oil painting, you don't form a consortium of a bunch of museums <laughs> and say, yeah, let's <laughs> keep the bidding to a certain point. Of course, this made the bidding go higher, which is... A, Unbelievably high. Four yeah. and a half billion dollars. They were basically... It's almost like, you know, Google's done this before where they kind of egg people on to spending too much money. <laughs> Do you ever notice this? They oh, did yeah. this with Microsoft a couple yeah. of times. Well, they did it with the, uh, the wireless spectrum. Right, they pushed yeah. that price way through the roof. And apparently they were sort of like making people really uneasy with their bids. They were doing these very, uh, you know, exact precise bids, you know, for so much dollars and so much cents. And, oh, as there was an algorithm. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like this. Why, 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 why is it 1.573? Yeah. But well, this is a fascinating story, really. I mean, I'm not, uh, as, as much as I'm sort of not interested in patents and software patents and think that, think, think that that whole situation is out of control. I mean, and it's making everybody's life miserable. It's ruining this has the happened industry, yeah. to be interesting because, you know, Nortel had over 6,000 patents that reflected over 100 years of research and from on everything from, you know, 4G to telecommunications, everything. So Nortel's going out of business. When Nortel was at the head of their game oh, in the totally, 90s, yeah. they were way out yeah. in front of everybody with their thought thinking and where they were getting patents and how they were patenting things. Yeah. They're the ones who did the time uh, or the multiplex division on the K on the fiber oh, yeah, 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 that, that sure. all of a sudden we had Time which division, is one of the yeah. yeah right uh, because at one point we had x amount of fi fiber in the country and oh it was yeah. going to be we're going to be what are we going to do we need yeah. more fiber and then they came up with this this yeah. this formula and then all of a sudden we had too much fiber yeah. based on what we already had <laughs> and, and now half of it's dark <laughs> and then yeah, we have tons of dark fiber out there it's that. because of Nortel and these yeah. great patents that Nortel yeah. was. And, and I, because I went to a number of events yeah. that were hosted by these guys, and I, I actually gave a couple of talks. And I spent a lot of time, and normally yeah. I don't do this, but I was listening to them. Yeah. It's like, holy, I, yeah. I do listen once in a while, but yeah. this was like high-end thinking that oh, yeah. was like, holy crap, these guys yeah. are way out there. So anyway, so, so the bidding was very interesting, too, because... First of all, they have there's this thing called a stalking horse. I, I wasn't aware of it, but it's a it's a reference to an old hunting scheme where you get you hide behind the horse to sneak up on the because the horse the the birds aren't afraid of a horse, but they're afraid of humans. So so Google was a stalking horse and put down nine hundred million dollars as the first bid right so off the right top, off the yeah. bat just to get things rolling. So then they start bidding and they're going up in five million dollar increments, and all of a sudden they say, "No, nah, five million is not enough. Let's go up in ten million dollar increments." No, let's let's go up in fifty, a hundred. So they're going up in a hundred million dollar increments. Wow. You know, and <laughs> and then all of a sudden, um, you know, so all these other players are, get, are getting freaked out, and and because then um, Microsoft and Apple and Sony and Rim, yeah, they're all, all gang they're, up. They all ganged up. All ganged up on, on well, Google. Well, that's a good thing because honestly, if Google was just to exclusively own all those patents, yeah. that, that's not good. That's well, not see, Google, anybody. Google's actually the the new guy in town too. Google. Uh, Apple and Sony and uh, and and those guys, Microsoft already have a whole portfolio of patents. Right. Google is sort of the new guy. So so the speculation is that first of all, they say no one's ever going to get four and a half billion dollars worth of licensing fees out of any of these patents. I mean, geez, you have to sell a lot of smartphones, even though they say a smartphone has two thousand patentable items in it, but but still, and you know, you see what's happening, HTC is suing everybody, Samsung. Yeah, no, so, going to be a nightmare. So now they're saying... Great for lawyers. Oh, yeah, great for lawyers. But, but, but it also say, really prevents new people from coming into the space, because oh, yeah, they just yeah. can't afford to license all those. Yeah, it, it's crazy, and, and they say now, actually, you know, Android is basically free, but they charge a, you know, licensing fee, so, and Android now has 30-something percent of the market, so this, there's speculation that this whole patent situation, now Apple and Microsoft, may have the upper hand over Android. It might actually Well, you know, help. the interesting thing is that Microsoft right now is making more money off of suing other companies exactly. for Android for patents yeah. than they are actually yeah, selling, selling their mobile devices. Like, they're, they're making double. Yeah. It's ridiculous. The software it patents really need to be revamped. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Well, the, the, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays yeah. out. I mean, 
Yeah, you might not have a big pet patent portfolio, but if you like team up with IBM, for example, yeah. and do a deal with them, and you and you become partners in their patent, I mean, they have the biggest one. Oh, yeah, IBM right. has got essentially blocking patents, which are the patents you have that you can't patent around. Mm -hmm. They block you. You know, you a lot of. In fact, somebody at Apple just got fired for allowing blocking patents on some mm. iPhone apps. I think mm. it had to do with there was this, this guy. Suppose they should have had, didn't, I guess Google got a blocking patent or somebody did. And essentially what you want to do is you, 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 if you understand this stuff, you see a patent thread. In other words, the patent is going to go do this, it's going to do this, it's going to, you can see where it's headed and you, with each invention. It's like the game of Go. Yeah, exactly. And you see, <laughs> and you see the line and, if yeah. you're, and the smart money develops a patent that's got nothing to do with that, but it blocks. Oh, man blocks that yeah. patent, it's called a blocking patent, yeah. and it goes up and you bang right into it and you can't patent around it, so you have to do a licensing yeah. deal. So one blocking patent can get you all the other patents. Yeah. It's a crazy it's system, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. but right now there's nothing they can do about it, but yeah. Google, Google's pretty smart. I mean, they may have just gotten these guys to overbid for all we know, I think, because they've done that before. 6,000 patents, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and there's some of those patents, you know. Yeah. Probably a lot of them are very out of date, too. Yeah. Well, the patents only last so long in the 26 years. No, I'm saying just outdated technology yeah. is just well, never going to be yeah. used again. Because Nortel was doing all this stuff before the year 2000 yeah. when, the, when the market collapsed and they collapsed. So, so these patents are a minimum of 10 or 12 years oh, old. Yeah. Hmm. And so they don't have much yeah. life left anyway. Fascinating? You tell us. You've been watching it. Great.